review of my lova zephyr task force boot lova as many of you would already be aware makes footwear for the military and hiking purposes in general they are also used for law enforcement agencies this is the information on the box it says zephyr gotex high that is more than 8 inches and task force the sizing is a uk 10 and a half which is the right size for me which also translates into a us 11 and a half and a eu 45 so wherever i am not able to find a 10 in lower then i generally have to go with the 11 but here i have been lucky and found a 10 and a half it says task force and these are grid lines again depicting that these footwear are or can be used for hiking purposes and also for the outdoors the box has got distorted they came inside plastic packaging but on the inside the box got distorted over the long distance that it has traveled to reach me on the inside the box and the boot seem to be okay the paper has got torn quite a bit but on the inside the boots seem to be okay and i can see labels which is always a good sign that means that the boots have not been used before it does also have some literature on the inside so it's got literature which has got kel tips in various languages and hence has become slightly thick the boot per se has also got tags on it which is always a sign that they have not been used before this one tag says gotex that means it has got gotex lining on the inside for waterproofing and then there's another quality booklet it also says professional footwear so they should be built to a decent quality and should be lasting also so this is the front profile of the boot side profile rear again side and front so on first inspection i do not find anything wrong with the quality of the boot the construction is good or the manufacturing has been good now coming on to the boot per se so these are the lower task force boots these are designed for the military in mind and are also used by other people who want a decent quality footwear for usage outdoors i have bought these boots earlier also but i did not have the color coyote so this time i bought a coyote for myself i really like this color the outsole is rubber this is the rubber outsole which has been fused to the polyurethane upper of the boot which then has been fused to the leather which is stitched to the synthetic on the uppers to save weight and here also and then on the inside all this is then stitched with the gotex liner the gray which is on the inside is the gotex liner to give it waterproofing now the rubber outsole has got a very dense pattern so this will hold on to certain amount of mud but it does give good grip on broken ground a uh, only gripe which i have got with this is because this is soft rubber so although it does give good grip but if you use it uh in rocky surfaces or or on rocky surfaces in mountains they do tend to chip pretty easily and quite fast so that is one gripe which i have with this boot but apart from that they have good grip on broken ground and also on the indoors i realized that if you have slippery surfaces or slippery floors then these do not give good grip they in fact become quite slippery uh, which is subpar apart from that then the upper is a, or the mid layer of the sole is a polyurethane sole and it does feel kind of soft when i press it with my fingers it does have a distinction between the forefoot and the heel so this will give it a decent amount of grip when you are climbing ladders 
the upper of the toe does come slightly high on the toe so when you place your feet like this on the ground the leather will not get damaged and similarly on the heel also it does come high quite a bit so it's almost as if the sole is one complete unit in which your feet sits inside unlike other boots where your sole will be below and your feet is sitting or riding on top here your feet is actually riding inside the sole of the boot and the leather mesh on top within this is also fused very well so in all the other boots which i've got of the same design i have not found them to be parting from the upper at least in this area so that has been one that has been one good place or one good area of design which does not seem to fail if only the outsole was also as rough and tough now coming on to the insole after the outsole the midsole the insole is a very basic simple lower insole which they provide it doesn't have any amount of cushioning why such a expensive boot has such a cheap insole is beyond me to understand if you do want you can change the insoles on the boot after you purchase them for me personally i've gotten used to the slight firm feel of the boots and i do prefer slightly firmer boots as compared to spongy boots for my personal usage uh keeping the toe and the heel uh, design of the sole it is always better that you go at least up by about half a size because here the boot will not be able to expand to accommodate your feet in fact any boot which has got a toe rand which comes up to the side or a rubber rand around the boot it is always better to have certain amount of additional space because the boot will not accommodate or will not give way in any case the leather upper is a good quality leather uh, it's got decent thickness and feels good to the touch and all the stitching on the leather is all double stitch so it doesn't uh, or in my other boots at least it doesn't uh, give way or hasn't given given way yet on the inside is a synthetic mesh uh, probably designed to give or to lose weight uh, there is another uh, boot from loa on the same design on the same uh, sole pattern which is uh, entirely leather also except this part the other uh, part of the boot is uh, completely leather i have that also and that also works well but uh, this does look much better and is uh, much lighter also i believe that the sole density on this boot uh, compared to the other uh, in complete leather boot is also uh, slightly less which again uh, reduces the weight uh, slightly but i am not very sure of that it just seems to me that way Uh, apart from that the laces uh, laces are all synthetic laces a uh, good quality synthetic laces here and the loop pattern generally uh, one will think that these uh, loop pattern for the loops for the laces uh, might give away or uh, break but uh, i have found that in these boots it uh, hasn't given way in any of the boots that i've owned and then for the upper they have these uh, loop designs which uh, is very easy to pull so once you put your feet inside you just pull and the loop uh, part of it since it is very easy and quite fast for the waterproofing the waterproofing on the boot is pretty good however i find that once the water does seep inside then it does take a lot of time to dry out also and the tongue of the boot here as can be seen the tongue of the boot is till this height or it is sewn till this height so water below this height will not enter the boot but any water which is coming over from this side will then seep inside and make life very difficult because the boot will not dry also a problem which i found uh, recently or uh, over my usage of uh, various boots is that even though your boot might be waterproof and keep water out but because you are wearing trousers and you getting wet in the rain so the rain will inevitably get inside your trousers and then through your feet seep into the boot from the top and so then there is no way to prevent that and that remains a huge problem unless of course maybe you wear waterproof clothing on top but then synthetic clothing for me uh, in the entirety doesn't feel very right it doesn't breathe very well so but that remains a problem uh, whatever amount of waterproofing your boot has got if your trousers get completely wet or drenched in the rain and you're outside for long durations you can't find cover you will find that water will get inside your boots uh, through your feet 